Hey, what's up, you guys? Double X Hardcore here. So, uh, as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be doing a review today on Genesis by Woe Is Me. Now, I'd like to say right now that I'm not the biggest Woe Is Me fan, and if you're expecting just straight positives, good comments, this video might not be for you. Now, you gotta realize the review is opinion here, good and bad. And I'm gonna tell you right now that this is not exactly one of the reviews as far as it being for a good album. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of the band's history right now because the band's history actually is a pretty good amount of stuff with a lot of member change-ups and just a whole bunch of... yeah. So What Was Me started back in 2009 with members Tim Sherrill, Tyler Carter, Corey Ferris, Michael Bowen, Ben Ferris, and Jeffrey Higgins. Now in this time the band had released their album Numbers through Velocity Records. In December of 2010, the lead vocalist Tim Sherrill left the band and Jeffrey Higgins took his spot. During late June of 2011, Jeffrey Higgins then left the band and Andrew Pano from Abandoned All Ships joined the band. In September of last year, 2011, uh, a lot of people were disappointed because Tyler Carter had then left the band and he was like the main part of the band, the clean vocalist of the band and that was just a disappointment for a lot of fans. Shortly afterwards, Hans Alga joined the band and they released a single called Vengeance, which gave you a taste of what the new sound of What With Me would be and what Hans, would, what Hans sounds like now that all the members were changed. Then shortly after Hans had joined, uh, Michael Bowen and both Farage brothers also left the band and came to create the new project Issues, which is with Tyler Carter. Along with that, both the bassist and vocalist from That's Outrageous had replaced them in the band What Was Me. So yeah, uh, if you really think about it, the previous members of What Was Me is all changed up now and it's just a completely different band. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not exactly the biggest fan of What Was Me and um, you know, I wasn't really excited for this album. I, mean, I really wasn't. Uh, I really like their old stuff and I'm not just saying that just because Tyler's in it because I have a lot to, I actually have some good stuff about this album. Uh, I wasn't expecting too much good from this. Um, you know, they, they had released two singles a couple weeks back. I've told you once and the story I tell or something like that, uh, you know what I'm talking about. One of them actually I really liked. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I'm not sure which one it is so I'm not going to say it, but one of them I really did enjoy while the other one uh, I really did not like it all. I was, I was, you know, a little iffy about like continuing to listen to the album. Now that song featured some hate lyrics toward issues. Everybody knows that uh, the lyrics were directed straight to issues, and issues released a song that was directed to what was me. Uh, both songs were going against each other because of the, what happened. You know, Tyler left the band, Hans took his spot, and now they're uh, they're all like this. I was expecting more songs with hate lyrics towards issues, and uh, that's that's what I got. Uh, the album consists of, I think it's 13 songs, or no, 11 songs, uh, consisting of all hate, basically. There's like two songs that are not hate towards issues. You can tell it's, you can tell it's going against Tyler Carter. You can tell the lyrics are going against them. I mean, it's just like they're holding on to that one thing with Tyler, and like now it's it's taking over this whole album. Coincidentally, the two songs that don't have hate are really good, and I really enjoy those actually. Uh, one's called Family First, which features Maddie Mullins, and another one features Maddie Mullins, it's called The Walking Dead. Now, both of those are really good songs, and he has a really good part in it, but uh, but those are probably the only two that don't have hate in it. Caleb Shomo is featured in, in another song as well, and he does a really, really good part. Uh, I like both of those vocalists. and. You know, I, they did a really good job, but as far as as far as the band itself doing, you know, their their job for the songs, I'm I don't like the album. I just I, I don't really like it. Um, as far as it being musically, okay, chugs breakdown, breakdown chugs, okay. That's that's really that. I'm I'm not just making this up. The whole album is literally there's breakdowns all over the place in this album. Like I mean, okay. I expect a breakdown, you know, and heavy songs. Seriously, the songs are filled with both of them, and it's just like so much. I mean, don't get me wrong, the whole album's heavy, so if you're in that mood, you know, like just 
Oh, you're so mad, heavy. You know, you might want to listen to this, okay? But, like, heavy doesn't always mean it's good. And the way they do it is chug the breakdowns. That's how they make this album heavy. The only really good stuff about it is Hans Allegood. I really do like his vocals. Uh, he sings really good, I find. It will basically, okay, a lot of people say he doesn't sound good because they, they compare him to Tyler. I'm not gonna compare him to Tyler here. I'm gonna say I really do like his vocals. I really do. As far as him singing uh, in the album, there's not that much really. It, the album's full of screams, way more than cleans. Now he does sing, of course, but like definitely not as much as I thought he would. Now, now that's that's basically the summary of the album right there. Um, overall, I don't like the album because of the chugs, breakdowns and just that's that's basically it really and in the lyrics but i'm just i'm just not digging it too well um so yeah so thank you for watching guys uh if you want to check out my other videos you know look at my channel i have a lot more uh, i'm also going to be uploading the crown the empire the album review for that and uh another one and another music video and stuff like that so yeah, if you guys want to check that out make sure you subscribe